Hey guys, welcome back again. We have Carla this week helping us out with today's video, which is gonna be covering cartwheels. So if you're a complete beginner, it might be useful for you guys to make your way through the beginner's handstand video if you haven't already. So that's gonna help you build a little bit of support strength and to introduce going upside down before we get through today's video. Okay guys, uh, we're gonna start with a warm up. For today's video, you need a little bit more space than you've needed in the previous videos, because for when we start doing our hurdle or running uh, cartwheels. So we're gonna use this space now for warm up as well. So we'll start walking laps, however much space you have. We're gonna start moving your neck up and down and side to side as well. And let's get a little bit of wrist action, rebuilding your wrists. Rolling both ways. And starting shoulder rolls as well, you can start small. And then start building the bigger circles. And other way as well, so a little shot of forward first. Right, and building the intensity now, let's start skipping. Normal skips first. And now we're gonna lift our knee a little higher when we skip. Bring your knee up in front, good. If you go a little bit higher, you'll have a little bit more time for the skip. Building as well now, we're gonna have our arm swings in the skip as well. So arms come up when you lift your knee up. You can slow it down a little bit. Just a little bit more movement to do on each skip. And it's gonna help us later for when we start doing our hurdles. And now stepping sideways. Um, side steps to the end. Yeah. And back. Let's do one more each side. And now stopping for a stretch. So for our stretch guys, we're gonna start with a side lunge. For your cartwheels, a flexibility plays quite a big role. So if you are a bit more flexible, it's gonna be a bit more beneficial and help you with your cartwheels for later. We're not quite gonna work through splits in this video, but if you have the time, you can do them now as well. We're just gonna do a quick warm up for the cartwheels we're gonna do later. And lying down on your side now. You can go on your elbow and you're gonna kick your leg up in the air sideways. And swapping sides. Try not to turn your hip for this, just make sure you're trying to kick sideways. And on your back now, whichever leg you prefer first, kicking straight up, start gently. Trying to keep both legs straight. And swapping. Last kicks we're gonna do, hands and feet on the floor. Uh, we're gonna bring our knee to our nose this time, just from here, swinging your leg back, and back tap touching the floor with your toe. Nine, last one, and switching. So we're just going to finish up with some basic movement patterns that are going to be a bit useful for our cartwheels later and also just to introduce a little bit of support work on our wrists. So starting bear walk, just like we normally do, hands and feet. You don't have to have legs straight for this one. Let's do two laps. Good, okay, rabbit hot now. So your hands and feet move at the same time. You reach forward with hands first and then you pull your feet in. do is a gorilla walk so facing sideways you're going to put both hands to one side and shuffle your body in the direction you're moving before so one two three and then swapping other side as well so I'm this right now one two three and finish so we're going to firstly start with some drills for our standing kick to cartwheel um car's going to show an example first so you're gonna start with your arms by your ears, stepping forward and lunging just like you would for a handstand, except just before your hands touch the floor, you do a quarter turn, and then as your hands touch the floor, you're driving your back leg up, pushing out of your bottom leg, 
and then turning, facing, usually facing um, the opposite direction to the uh, position you started in. So let's do one more real time. Quarter turn, and then finish facing backwards. Now this is for a, like a technical gymnastics cartwheel. It's not the only type of cartwheel that you can do. Uh, so for some people that are a little bit less flexible, you can also start facing sideways and finish facing sideways for your cartwheel as well. Just another option that you might like as well. So our first drill for our standing cartwheel, we're going to start in our squat position and we're going to work on our uh, tuck bunny hop. If you find this skill is a little bit advanced, again, make your way through the beginner handstand video. So for this drill, your arms are straight, looking at your in between your hands and you're going to lift your hips up, trying to get to a tuck handstand. The focus for this drill for cartwheels is just figuring out where vertical is. So hips over your hands when you go. Okay, next drill now, we're going to do the same bunny hop again, except we're going from side to side. So firstly, you can just start facing the same way, pushing hips up and finishing on the other side of your hands. You can practice both sides for now as well. And a variation from this drill is you're going to start facing sideways, put your hands to the side, and again, lifting your hips up, finishing the opposite direction. Now, the goal for this is to get your hips up so that you are vertical, just like we practiced in that normal bunny hop, uh, the drill before this. Another way you can do this skill is if you have your hands on an elevated surface. It might actually be a bit easier if you have something that's appropriate, but if you don't, you can just do this on the floor. Another way that you can um, do this drill that might be helpful is if you have, maybe draw some lines so you can know where you're start, starting and stopping. Or if you have a yoga mat, if you start with your hands on the mat and your feet off to the side, and you're trying to bunny hop and get over to the other side of the yoga mat. So same setup as whatever you're using for the drill before. We're gonna do the same thing now but your focus is taking off one leg. So you've got one leg up in the air. You can relax for a second. The leg that's up in the air is going to be the leg that's in the direction that you're moving to, just to not try not to get confused, okay? So as your leg is up in the air, you're gonna kick that leg out into the direction that you're, um, you're moving to, pushing out of the leg that's on the floor, and then landing on that leg that was up in the air. So let's see one. So leg out, push out the other leg. Let's do both sides for this as well. And again, trying to get your hips up in the air. Same again guys, still building. So, what you're gonna do now is that leg that was up in the air now is gonna take a back step. So that back step leg, when you go for this now, you're going to put your hands down, then lift that back leg, and then swap to the other side. And back step at the end of every time now. Okay, keep practicing. Good. So we're gonna add a step into the skill now. So step and doing our full mini cartwheel. So if Carl's stepping with her right foot, she's going to put her right hand down first when she goes for the cartwheel. And then pushing, so basically the same drill from the back step. And then we can do the other side as well now. So left foot, left hand first, kicking over to the other side. So for this drill, we're basically going to build a little bit more power each time and that will help you develop into that full cartwheel. You can also do your step facing forwards. Or again, if you prefer, if you're a little bit more flexible in this uh, direction, you can step sideways left hand, left foot, and then finish the other way. Okay, aim to get your hips up over your hands, and then as you're going, you want it to be smooth action between your feet and your hands. You should be rolling like a whip. Okay, so the drills we have now, guys, are gonna help us with our technical gymnastics cartwheel, and specifically help us get a little bit more vertical with our cartwheel. So the first thing we're going to do against the wall is just a needle kick, but we're going to incorporate the quarter turn that we get with our cartwheel. So kicking your back leg, your, your back leg is going to raise the same time as your hands go onto the wall. And just before your hands hit the wall, you're going to quarter turn your hands, just like you would do your, with your hands on the floor for a cartwheel. So what's important with your hand placement for cartwheels, some people say to always use your T-hands, that's fine as well. But you want to make sure that you do at least turn your hands to the side or the direction that you're um, turning with your body, just like you would drive a car. So you're turning your hands before they get to the floor, so that when you're finishing your cartwheel, you're able to push out of that wrist because it's facing in the right direction, not in this position, facing the way, the opposite direction that you're facing when you finish. Another variation of this drill that's going to help us with the skill after this is doing our back against the wall. Same thing again, straddling and shifting from side to side. The wider your legs are for this, it's going to make your cartwheel easier because you're going to spend less time on your hands and it's going to roll a bit better when you do your cartwheel, just like the spokes on a wheel are spread out evenly. So the next drill, guys, is a little bit more advanced. 
but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our cartwheel sideways against the wall and you're gonna stop in that straddle handstand position. So just when you are setting up for this, if you can come back down and show again, Carla. Carla's using her right foot for her cartwheel, so that foot is gonna be closer to the wall so that when she goes for her cartwheel against the wall, her back's against the wall. Now you can do this to straddle handstand or you can go the whole way through finishing that cartwheel uh, facing backwards. Now for this, some feedback for you guys is if you're dragging your heels along the wall the whole way, then you kind of know that you're hitting vertical for this drill. And another way you can do, um, you can break this drill down is if you're just struggling with the kick part, you can just focus on the first half, or again, if you're struggling with the, um, the step down, you can just, just go from straddle handstand step down as well. So we're gonna start working on some drills now from a run hurdle or for a power start into a hurdle cartwheel. This will help us get a little bit more power into the cartwheel or whichever other variation you do later. And the concepts and action between both these um, lead-ups is the same. You want, well, Carl will show an example now. You want to push at about a 45 degree angle, you're lifting your knee up in front high, and your arms are by your ears. So your timing between the arm swing and knees is the same, and you're landing on the leg that you normally kick with when you do your kick to cartwheel. Okay, so let's see your full power start cartwheel. Knee up, and then into your cartwheel. Cool. So we're gonna break down the step into a hurdle first before we start doing a run into the hurdle. Um, if you, we're continuing on from the um, skip into the knee up drill that we did for warm up. So what we're gonna do first is one step. Carla Kart was with her right foot, so she's gonna step forward with her left foot for this drill. So her left foot's forward, her right foot, and her arms are both back. And then what she's gonna do, she's gonna swing her right leg up and her arms up at the same time, and she's gonna land on her left foot again before finishing a lunge with that right foot in front, ready for her cartwheel. So let's see one more in real time. So stepping forward, swinging both, and then finishing in her lunge, ready for her cartwheel. I'm gonna add three steps before the hurdle now, which is a little bit more like a run, but we're still gonna walk through it. Because we're doing three steps, so we've added two more steps, you're still gonna start with the same leg that you just used for your one step hurdle. So starting with Carla's left foot, because she's a right foot cartwheel out. One, two, three, into the hurdle. Knee comes up, arms come up. And then if you're confident now, and then you feel that you're consistently getting the right foot, you can then add a cartwheel onto the end. Obviously starting slow, and as you get more confident, you can start putting a bit more power into this, to the whole thing. Okay, now that we're confident with that full takeoff, we're gonna do one real time or full power now. Make sure when we start um, adding new skills onto this later that this takeoff is consistent so you don't have to think about it every time that you're trying to think about new skills. So you want to have the same takeoff. If you do three steps, you're doing three steps every time if you have enough room. Whatever it is, just make sure it's consistent so you can uh, drill this to a point where you're confident with it and getting a lot of power. So Carla only has enough space for one step, but she's going to do one step into a hurdle full power now. Another way you can enter into your cartwheel is a power start, especially if you don't quite have as much room. So you're gonna start with two feet together. You're basically gonna go for a long jump, and as you push up two feet together, you're lifting that same knee up, same swing with your arms, and you're gonna land in the exact same lunge position as you did before. So can you show us one, Carla? Again, the angle is important, so you should see a 45 degree angle, or roughly between her hands and her toes when she's in the air, and then her knees up, Finishing right leg ready for cartwheels. So once you nail that guys, into the cartwheel now from the power start. Again, swing your arms up into that 45 degree angle. Try and have your chest in once you've swung your arms up and then pull into the full cartwheel. Can you go the whole thing? So once you guys get a bit more confident and get more power into your cartwheels, just like the handstands, there's plenty of variations that you can do to keep your cartwheels uh, interesting. So one variation we have for you here is a one-arm cartwheel. The faster you do this, or the more power you kick with your back legs, the rotation power, is actually gonna make it easier, so you'll feel less weight on that one arm. So when you do go for this, Carl's gonna use her right hand, because that's the hand she puts down first, if you're left-footed, or if, that's, uh, if you're the other way, you can use your left hand. So right hand first, the other hand she's gonna have nearby just in case she does need to put that arm down. Once you get more confident, you can start doing other things with that arm, like putting it behind your back. So see one more, right hand down. The faster the kick, the easier the cut will be. 
Another variation you guys can do is a cartwheel snapper. So this is a good drill for um, some side aerials or round offs that we might build into later. So for this, you need more power. And then as you finish your cartwheel, you want to push off the floor hard, block off the floor to get your shoulders up before both feet have hit the floor. So it's that second half we're focusing on. Step in and block the shoulders up, finishing in a dish position for this drill. Some other variations that can be done for cartwheels which are a bit more advanced, so we might cover in a future tutorial, is a round off, which we see here. So a round off is good for generating power for some back tumbling skills. Uh, another variation that can be done in the future is a cart twist, where you get an extra half rotation before your feet hit the floor, which can be used for, um, as a lead up into front rotation skills, which is particularly done in um, tricky. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you keep practicing your cartwheels throughout the week and are ready for next week's video. Thanks for watching. Keep fit. Make friends. Have, Have fun. fun.